أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله عليك يا ولي العصر أدركنا السلام عليكم brothers and sisters welcome back hope you all are doing well in this video we will look at the detrimental effects of false accusations falsely accusing someone is a severe sin in Islam because you not only speak about someone behind their back but you also lie about them. So you involve in two sins at the same time. For example, falsely accusing someone of being greedy, when in reality, they are not. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq once said, إِذَا أَتَهُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُ أَخَاهُ أَنْ مَاثَ الْإِيمَانُ مِنْ قَلْبِهِ كَمَا يَنْمَاثُ الْمِلْحُ فِي الْمَاءِ When a believer accuses his brother, his faith disappears from his heart like salt disappears in water. So you can see the punishment of this sin is so severe that you will have Iman removed from your heart as quickly as salt disappears in water. And you will also be held accountable for this sin on the day of judgment. Let's understand this from an incident from the life of Holy Prophet Once a woman approached Rasulullah and told him, O Prophet of Allah, I accused my maid of a sin. And so the Prophet asked, Did you see her committing that sin? And she said, No. So the Prophet told her, Know that on the day of Qiyamah, you will be held accountable for this and some of your good deeds will be transferred to your maid. Hearing this, the woman started fearing and she went back to her home. And she gave a whip to her maid and told her to hit her with that because she had falsely accused her of a sin. The maid refused and forgave her. And so the woman went back to Holy Prophet ﷺ and informed him about all of this. And then the Prophet said, May this action of yours act as a kafara for your accusation and may you not suffer the consequences of it on the Day of Judgment. This incident tells us the severity of the punishment of this sin and what, what steps you must take when you falsely accuse someone of something. False accusations have a negative impact on individuals and societies. They create mistrust, misunderstandings and disrupt the unity and harmony amongst individuals. You not only harm the innocent by accusing him of something he or she hasn't done but you also create division amongst brothers and sisters this creates ill feeling and enmity amongst each other the quran also speaks about false accusations in surah mu'minun ayah number 39 to 41 speaking about the nation of hazrat saleh it starts with qala rabbin surni bima kadhaboon he Meaning, Hazrat Saleh said, O oh my Lord, help me against their calling me a liar. He, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, said, A little while they will most certainly be repenting. So the punishment overtook them in justice and we made them as rubbish. So away with the unjust people. So we must be cautious what we say about others, ensuring that we do not falsely accuse someone. In case if we end up falsely accusing someone, then we should seek their forgiveness and also seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us not falsely accuse our brothers and sisters and create an environment with which Imam Zamana, Ajjal Allah Ta'ala Farjah Sharif, would be happy. Allahumma ajjil li waliyyaka al-faraj, wa akhiru al-da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Meet you in the next video, inshallah. Khud hafiz. Take care.